Hey there, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. In this video, we're going to be talking about one more topic before we move on to the next one, and that is name mangling. In one of my previous videos, we implemented this credit card class. So you can see there are five data members. You have the owner, so credit card name, the number of the card, the bank, the balance, and the limit. And then we have two more methods, charge and pay. And we also have uh, the string operator overloaded. So you can see within the string operator, we censored half the card number. We don't want the user to know what that card number is. So if I were to print my card, you can see that it displays the number as four X's and five, six, seven, eight. Now, of course, the user can just access the card number doing this. So if we run a code, you can see that the card number is actually exposed. And in certain cases, you actually don't want this. Uh, you don't want the user to be able to access some private information. So in other languages like Java and C++, there is something called public and private fields or public and private declarations. And that is I can declare my data members or my methods as private. For instance, in Java and C++, I could just declare this number as private. Now, Python does not have this feature. So basically, when a data member or a method is declared private, it means that it is private to the class. Only the class can access that data member or the method. Now, in Python, everything is public. So this means that every data member and every method can be accessed within and outside the class. So for that reason, I can access card.number. Now, if I were to declare as private, this would raise an error. So in Python, we don't have private declarations, but we do have something called name mangling. And it is a form of data hiding where you can reroute the name. So in this case, this self.number, I would just change it to self double underscore number. So if I run this, you can see we have an issue here. Credit card object has no attribute number, and that is coming from our string operator. We renamed our number variable to double underscore number. So we should do the same thing here. So now if we run our program. You can see it gets printed, but we have an issue here. Credit card object has no attribute number. So let's see if we can access this data member. So let's try it, double underscore. And then we run our code. And you can see it says credit card object has no attribute double underscore number. But we see that it does exist here. So this is a form of data hiding, but it's not fully private in the sense that there is a workaround in Python to access this data member. To do that, you would just go object dot one underscore and then put in the class name. So in this case, credit card and then two underscores, and then you put in the data member name. So we were to do that and run it. We can see that we can now access the card number. All right, so that's name mangling with our data member, credit card number. Now we can also do the same thing with our methods. So let's say this method pay, we want to make it private. Or in this case, we want to use name mangling, we would just do two double underscores. And then now if I try to pay the card, so let's say pay 5,000 and then I print the card afterwards. If I run my program, you can see we get credit card object has no attribute pay. Now if I try to do the same thing, double underscore pay, let's see. And we get credit card object has no attribute double underscore pay. So what we can do instead is do the same thing as we did with our credit card number. You would do card dot single underscore credit card. So the class name double underscore method name. And now you can see that we were able to pay off our credit card. So we paid 5,000. Okay. So that's how you can use name mangling to use data hiding with your data members and your methods. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That's it for name mangling and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.